Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys about a hydraulic hose problem that I had, that I discovered on my Kubota L3800 about eight years ago, uh, and the solution to it. Okay, now uh, I'm going to be using my L3800 to demonstrate this, uh, but this is a, a problem that you can have on any machine that has hydraulic hoses that you routinely uh, detach. So with this tractor over here. Uh, usually if I want to do any brush cutting or mowing, I remove the front loader. In, in the part of Pennsylvania that I'm in, I'm about 2,000 feet up, right? That's my elevation. What typically happens uh, in the summertime, right? At, you know, in, in, in the summertime, like right now, it's about, I don't know, 70 degrees. Uh, you know, in a couple of hours, as the sun keeps rising, it's going to probably go up to about 85 degrees. At night, the temperature drops below 60 degrees, okay? So... One of the problems that I that I have discovered, right, uh, that if, and you're gonna have this problem if you're if you're in an area where the temperature changes drastically, you know, from you know morning to afternoon uh, to nighttime, is uh, in the, in the morning if I go to detach the hoses, right, uh, it, the hoses are, are cold, right, so, you know, they're, they're about six degrees. Well, what happens is I detach the hoses. And once I detach the hoses, the hydraulic fluid basically now is locked up in the hoses uh, of the front loader. And then throughout the course of the day, you know, by, by mid-afternoon when the sun's beating those black hoses that are just soaking up the sun, um, the temperature rises inside the hoses. And as the temperature rises, the, the pressure builds up. Okay, so what happens is if I go to reattach my loader um, in the middle of the daytime, right, uh, what happens is I'm unable to reattach them because the pressure inside of the uh, hoses is, is so much higher that there's like a little nipple inside the, uh, the fittings that has to get pushed back. Well, the, the pressure inside is so much that it's not allowing that, that nipple to get pushed back. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys a really easy solution that I discovered uh, about eight years ago. Uh, and basically all it is is once you detach the hoses, you just take your finger shove it inside those um, those fittings to let some of the hydraulic fluid out so this way um, as the you know as the sun beats on those hoses and they heat up a little bit there's a little extra room in there uh, so you won't get as much pressure now despite that you can still have some you know some pressure and I'll, I'll show you guys a solution to that as well so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna detach this loader all right let me go do that So I've detached the lower from the machine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play the joystick. I'm just letting the pressure out. All right, so there's no pressure in, in the hoses right now. All right, so by moving this joystick around, I was able to take all the pressure out of the hoses. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take these apart. Okay, so I got these off, so 
this is the part I really wanted to talk to you guys about. So once these are off, all right, I'm gonna take my finger, shove it in there, point this down, and I'm just gonna push in on the, on the it's like a little button on the inside. Push in and relieve the pressure. Let some of the fluid come out. Four. All right, so let the fluid come out. And what's gonna happen is now, as throughout the course of the day, right, as, as the, it gets hotter and the sun beats on those black hoses, by the way, that's the reason why I always wear yellow, because it doesn't soak up the sun as much. So that's, as, that, as those hoses heat, uh, heat up, there's now a little extra space in there so that it doesn't create that much pressure against that, that little nipple that pushes out. Now, there's been a couple of times where even after I did that, uh, there was still a lot of pressure. It may not be on all the hoses, but it might be on one hose. So the solution that I have found for that I basically you just take something with a flat surface. I, I have a brush here You're gonna put this in there right up against that nipple and just you know, point it away from your body so you don't get this lowery because it's gonna squirt out because it's gonna be under high pressure. And just hit that, you know, and now that'll, that'll shove that nipple in, and it'll send out the uh, the that that fluid and relieve the pressure. And then all of a sudden, and then you can, you know, hook up to your um, um, you know to your valve over here. Let me put this I have not been able to, like eight years ago when I first discovered this problem, I wasn't able to find any instruction or any videos on this. So, uh, and so uh, you know, one of those videos I've been wanting to do for a long time, and I, I finally got around to it. Um, so yeah, that's that solution. Uh, I mean, first you want to prevent the problem uh, simply by you know put, sticking your finger in there and letting the pressure out. And then if you still have a problem, yeah, basically you gotta get those you gotta get those nipples to go in. So right now I'm just covering my caps here because I'm gonna do some grass cutting and I don't, I'm not, I, don't, I don't want the extra weight up front when I'm, when I'm cutting grass. So yeah, so that's my L3800. I got this for about eight years. Uh, it served me very well. Um, I've uh, I've actually bought a a newer version, of this L3901. Um, same, basically same track, but just a newer version. Um, I keep that at a different location. Uh, I find that that's a lot easier than transporting tractors back and forth. You know, I keep one tractor in one area, another tractor in one in, in another area. Let me back this out so you guys can check this out. How, in case you guys aren't familiar with how this comes apart, get the hoses out of the way. That's it. I just wanted to show you guys this hydraulic hose problem that I discovered, or I figured, you know, I discovered about eight years ago. If you live in an area where it doesn't get so cold at night, you're probably never going to have this issue. Probably not even aware that it could, it could possibly exist. But um, if you are in an area where temperature really drops overnight and then it gets hot in the daytime, and yeah, if you disconnect the hoses in the morning, go to reattach them when it's warmer in the day you're gonna have this problem so that's the solution for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're not a member of the channel subscribe I'll talk to you guys soon